Hey you guys, so today is Wednesday, so I do have a new upload for you guys today, so stay tuned. Hey, as I stated to you guys earlier, I do have a new upload for you. I uh, hope you guys like it. Just be sure to watch this full video in its full form. And at the end of this video, you will also be able to see the actual uh, process on what I took on my natural hair client. So I have a natural hair client. She came in and uh, she actually had came from a previous salon uh, maybe a month or two months ago. And she had got a weave installed with a lace frontal. And I get this question a lot, is lace frontals capable of being sewn on or is it the only way you can put it on is by glue? There is a way that you can sew on a lace frontal. However, if you have severe thinning around your perimeter, I'm unable to do a secure base in order to sew your frontal on. And in some results, you do have to glue on the lace frontal. If you do have edges around your perimeter and I'm able to give you a base by braids, I'm able to sew that on uh, with no problem. So yes, ladies, there is a way you can actually apply a lace frontal on by needle and thread. Is it hard? Yes, it is very challenging. Um, it's not something you can learn overnight if you're a hairstylist. So I would suggest that you do a lot of practice. As for clients, this is a great benefit for you all where you guys don't have to really worry about your hair, you're able to uh, be real versatile with your part, you're able to pull your hair back. If you do have thin sides, but it's not bald and you're just a little uh, insecure about those areas, I do suggest a lace frontal. As you all know that there are lace closures. For those who are not familiar with what a lace closure and a lace frontal is, a lace frontal is usually a 13 by four, and that's from temple to temple, and probably from your hairline to here, by four. A lace closure is a four by four, which is usually from the tip of your eyebrow, which is usually covered this quadrant of your head, and it goes back by four, okay? Is they both protect your hair from heat, which is awesome. If you have color damaging, if you're trying to grow your hair out and you already have done severe damage to your hair, it's great for that. If you don't want to do damage to your hair, it's great for that also. Or if you want to switch it up and you actually do want to try a new color before actually chemically altering your real hair, I do suggest doing it on extensions first before actually coloring your real hair. Um, if it's up to me and I'm your stylist, I would suggest you never color your hair. Why? When you have extensions and you can do all the chemical processing on your extensions, just because you color it once does not mean you cannot color it again. So you can always color it every if you get a new idea, it's not a problem. So I just feel like what's the sense of coloring your real hair? Keep your hair in this natural state healthy state, treat it, protect it, and just use extensions to actually alter whatever new look that you're going for. Whether it's a new cut, cut your extensions. Whether it's a new color, color your extensions. Whatever you want to do, do it to the extensions. It's like the most genius thing could have ever been created. I'm going to wrap it up, but that that is my tip, hair tip for you guys today. And I hope I've been able to answer some of you guys' questions and I've been very informative to you all. And remember, if you're in the Los Angeles area and you're looking for a hairstylist, please visit www.stylistly.com. I'll be more than happy to service you. And if you like today's hair unit, my wig bar, um, production time is two weeks. You provide me with the hair of your choice. If you do not live in the Los Angeles area, do not worry. I also ship to all 50 states and internationally, and I can get that out to you as soon as possible. Um, if you are interested, just hit me up at www.stylistly.com by visiting my wig bar and filling out the form. 
and I'll be able to get back with you within at least 24 hours on uh, what looks you're trying to go for. If you're trying to do a color or a cut, you can send me over some pictures and I can get that to you as soon as possible. Um, I hope I've been able to help answer all you guys' questions. I hope you guys like the video after this and you guys have a good day. Thank you.